Good morning, everybody. Not that good of a morning, I guess, but... Hell, it's a morning. Rainy, crappy, kind of cold. Uh, <laughs> last night, I removed the wood burner. Well, I didn't remove it. I just disassembled it and stored it in the RV under the... Ouch, under the uh, couch thing here. It flips up and... This thing. Uh, it flips up and does has some storage under there and that little wood burner collapses into itself and uh, you know I kind of thought well it's warm it's nice uh, I knew it was going to rain today but I didn't realize it was going to be that cold it was 45 degrees out when I come out here and it wasn't quite raining yet so I thought well I'll just light the little propane thing and of course I had to get the propane thing back out the little Mr. Buddy heater and the little cylinder that I was using was empty. I kind of forgot about it, so I had to hook it up to the big 20-pound cylinder. I think you can hear the rain. We've had a couple of rumbles of thunder. Uh, it's comfortable in here now, warm-ish. Uh, oh, what is it? What does it say? Uh, 70? Maybe 72? I don't know. Whatever. It's, uh... I don't know. It's a day. I'm going to try to get into something. So I put this little jug out there like five minutes ago and it's full already. I think it's a gallon. I don't know. And I'm collecting rainwater. And I'm going to filter it. So this is an old zero water pitcher that I've had for, oh hell, I don't know, probably three years. You buy the little white doohickey sticking down inside there. That's the cartridge, the filter cartridge. It just threads in from the bottom, of course. and. Uh, Pour your water that you want filtered in the top, which I'm going to do with the rainwater here. And I'm probably going to dump it everywhere. Actually, let me dump up. Okay. Here we go. Pour it in there. Rainwater right from the sky, man. Actually, off the roof. So all the bird poop and crap's in it, too. Which is super duper awesome. I personally don't want to consume bird poop. Uh... This is a brand new filter, and I really thought, you know, I could just set the whole pitcher outside in the rain, but up here, where the water pours out, that's open. Uh, there's like a little tub right here to put the water in, and I was afraid rainwater and bird poop and bugs and crap was going to get down in that, so I didn't. Uh, I put it out in the rain, and I thought, well, that's dumb. So, anyway, I'm going to let this filter up, get a little bit more in there. The cartridges are kind of expensive, really. Uh, I can't remember, but I, I know it's for my well water anyway. By the time it starts tasting bad, and it comes with a stupid little tester that's dumb. Uh, by the time I filter my well water, it was twice as much as just buying a gallon of water, like what's back over there. That's like a dollar, and it was like two dollars per gallon is what I was getting before it got bad. Or before it wasn't filtered enough. My well water's pretty bad here. It's real sulfury. So, you can see already it's up to, eh, around here. And it's clean on the inside, it's just scuffed up from years of use and then stored for a while, so. And it's already, I can already tell it's filtering a lot faster than what my well water does. So, go team, yay! Alright, so it's been a couple minutes. Uh, this thing is pretty much empty. That much filtered water was this much rainwater. Um, I'll pour the rest in here. And just keep going until I get this thing full. Okay, that took all of that. I don't think this is a gallon. I don't know what it is. How much is in this. It doesn't, there ain't no markings on it. Uh, there probably is, but I don't really feel like looking for it. I'm pretty sure this thing holds a gallon. So, I don't know. Maybe this is like this little thing's metric or something. But it's going a lot quicker than it does with my well water, so awesome. Uh, yeah, man. Kind of expensive, but hey, you know, I guess if you're thirsty, you got a way to purify rainwater. These are supposed to be some pretty good filters. Uh, I can't remember the specs on it. I don't know. If you really want to look at, just look it up online. But I really like them. I like these better than the Brita filters. The Brita filters seem kind of uh, cheaper made and crappy. But, you know, each to their own. 
I've also seen things where people drink their own pee. I think that's kind of gross, and I'm not going to do that unless I'm super thirsty, I suppose. Uh, I think that was like those little life straw things that you stick down in the mud and drink it, and it's clear water. I think they did it with pee. I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Anyway, zero water is pretty cool, man. And this isn't a commercial. I'm not being paid. I don't have any ties to zero water. I'm just showing you something that's kind of cool, especially for like an RV, you know. Whatever. Anyway, zero water. You. I got another zero water filter that I use in my house a lot, and I don't know how much it holds. A bunch. Probably twice as much as the other pitcher. Uh, I like it. But this one seems a lot slower than the other filter. Uh, I think it has to do with the venting. Right here is like an indentation on the inside of the tub up top. And there's a little tiny hole right there that lets the pressure out when the water comes in, the air pressure comes out. Uh, a little more rain water here. This thing is, it is pretty cool, other than just being slow. I think that filter is about clogged up though. So. And it's cool because it's got the little spigoty, pushy button thing where you can just pour it right out. You don't have to pick the whole pitcher up. Uh, and this is the tester that I was talking about. Uh, you pull the cap off and you stick that down in the water and it tells you how many parts per million dissolve solids, some other gunk. I don't know, whatever. I can tell when the water's bad, when the filter runs super slow like this one is. It's probably, probably about at its limit. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I really like it. it. I really, really like it, other than the price. It's kind of like a backup to a backup. I brought some more jugs out. I'm going to catch as much rain as I can today and filter. I'll probably end up changing this filter out and put a new one in. Or maybe not. I don't know, it's my last filter, so maybe I'll save that thing. But, you know, cool stuff. Kind of nice to have, especially in an RV, man. I, I, I know I've said that a lot, but when you go out and you... Uh, hook up somewhere and you drink their water and it's real either real chlorine rich or or if you don't have a hookup and you need water you can obviously catch rainwater or I don't know I suppose you could fish it out of a out of a creek or something but if you really needed it yeah, there you go it's drinking water yeah man hey everyone Aaron here uh, today I received my grid tie inverter that I ordered from Missouri Wind and Solar. Uh, apparently the mailman doesn't like coming to the house and if the package doesn't fit in my mailbox he just puts the little card that says come pick it up at the post office. So I got that, went up to the post office, got it, I actually followed him there. Uh, anyway, uh, gave the card to the lady, the lady looked at it and got the package and I had to sign for it, and she took pictures of me signing and did the little beepy stuff on the magic wand, do hickey thing with jigger, and gave me the box. Anyway, get home. All right, man, I get to hook this thing up. Get home, open the box, and I had ordered some other Z clips for solar panels. The Z clips are the clips that you clip bolt to the panels, and then you can fasten them to a structure or a roof or whatever. Uh, set them aside. Pull out my grid tie inverter, 500 watt. All right, let's do this. Uh, it has two styrofoam packing things on it, and it's in a plastic bag. Uh, Grid Tire Inverter was in perfect shape. The box wasn't beat up or damaged or anything. Open it up, take the packing off of it, pull it out, and there's a cord that you plug into the back that plugs into the wall. So, I grab the cord, grab the inverter, and I walk over to where I'm going to mount it. And uh, start undoing, the cord had a twisty tie around it. Undid the twisty tie, set it down, plugged it into the back of the inverter, laid it all down, looked at the front of the inverter, and I noticed it said dump load. <laughs> that DC in and dump load. I got the wrong one. <laughs> they sent me one for uh, a wind turbine, and I have solar panels. And, you know, there for a moment I thought, well, maybe it'll work. Yeah, I better read up on this thing. So I got the papers out, and all over the papers it says for wind turbine and how you can do magic -y stuff and how you're supposed to use the dump load and things like that. And I thought, well, I better call them. So I called them, Missouri Wind and Solar. I uh, got their sales department and they transferred me. I think it was customer service or maybe the sales lady helped me. I can't remember. Whoever she was, she was really cool, really apologetic. Uh, 
promised to make things right. And uh, they took down my information and the numbers on the paper and then on the inverter and stuff like that. And she said, no, that will not work. Don't hook it up. So I didn't put it back in the box, packed it up the way that I think I got it. Uh, and she asked me to take pictures of it with my phone and email the pictures to somebody else because she said that the lady would be expecting it. So uh, I took a couple pictures and a little message saying what was going on and away it went. I've dealt with Missouri Wind and Solar before, had very good uh, experience with it, and they, the lady said that she was going to make it right. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm not out to rip anybody off or, you know, I demand a free everything, give me free stuff. No, I just, I personally don't want to have to pay for the shipping to send it back to get the thing that I ordered. And I'm sure they understand it. And the lady said, we are so sorry, we're going to do everything. And I said, you know, people make mistakes, I understand, no problem. Just, you know, let, let's fix it. Uh, I hope they do. And I hope everything works out good. And I hope that... I don't come away from this whole thing upset about it and angry. Uh, I like their website and after today I like the customer service or sales or whoever I was talking to. So, uh, today's the 30th of March. We'll see what happens.